Yeah, good morning guys, it's William from Tassie VW Pickers. What a crisp morning down here in Tassie today. <laughs> Just wanted to put a video up of our 73 Deluxe Combi that we've got for sale at the moment. Just want to do a bit of a walk around. Um, obviously we've got quite a few detailed photos on our Facebook page, but uh, sometimes the video is always a little bit better to see. So um, it's a genuine three owner uh, Tassie bus from new. Uh, it was in the original family. Um, up until I bought it about six months ago. Um, they got it, the people that I got it off, uh, got it off the their parents uh, after they'd passed away. So managed to fill in a fair bit of its history. So a little bit of a walk around. Um, that pillar through there is all nice. A little bit of a spot of rust there. Across the nose is actually really quite good. A little bit of a bubble coming back through there. They're all nice and solid through there. Uh, nose, nose actually pretty straight. Starting to flake a little bit there. Hasn't actually turned all wholly yet, but there's obviously a bit of surface rust there. Across the nose is all really good. And good through there. A little bit of rust coming through the dog legs and obviously at the bottom of the doors there. Um, obviously plenty of patina. Like it's had a few little touch-ups done over the journey um, in here a couple little minor spots coming through there uh, it is a 73 it's compliance is an eight seater a little bit of rust of the dog legs and obviously a few little holes through the front four uh, the vehicle is still registered here in Tassie um, which is always good across the roof roof all looks nice and solid all the way along. So that's all pretty good. A little bit of a dent in through there. Rear corner, battery tray and a little bit coming through there. A little bit of rust through there, but the wheel arches are good. And obviously the seals are quite good through there too. A little bit of surface rust. Window seals. Little spot coming through there. All the chrome's still in its place, which is nice. Around the back, tailgate's in good nick. We've got the 1700 motor. Motor actually runs pretty well for what it is. Um, I don't suspect it's ever been rebuilt. Um, starts first pop. Um, yeah, motor actually seems to be okay. Uh, we live, well, where we're, where we're located, we're 60 k's out of the next closest city, so we're on the road quite a bit, and we've got to make sure that these cars are actually half reliable. A little bit of rust coming through there, and you can sort of just start to pick up a little bit down through that rear apron. Uh, once again, up through the tops, all nice and solid. I think the top half's all in its original paint. Um, this section through here, it's had an accident at some point and they'd put a fair bit of filler there and obviously the filler had, um, well, the filler had cracked in bits and pieces. So, um, it's not rusty as such. It's just, it's had a very, very poor repair job done there. So, um, you can also see just the evidence of the, the old bog cracking through there and you can see the, um, the original paint hiding behind that repair. Uh, what do we got? sliding door sill that's all nice and solid through there which is good once again plenty of patina the sliding door opens and closes which is good um, in the back just surface rust just surface rust tonight through here um, that's that it's got a uh, homemade rock and roll sort of bed which one-handed does pull out so that's that roof lining is actually quite good you know it's really surprising how neat the roof lining is still obviously got all its original deluxe handles and bits and pieces in the back up front we've got another door we've got the seats obviously a little bit of damage to the seats Dog leg down the bottom, 
Looks like it's had a patch on the floor done many, many moons ago. And I was a bit flaky on this side. In the glove box, we've still got all its original books, which, are pretty, which is pretty cool. Uh, who the original owner was. Obviously, it's still registered those plates. That house still exists, and it was bought on the 15th of June, 73, from Kevin Jack Motors, which is where a lot of Volksies got delivered from in, uh, in Tassie. Um, gearbox is nice and smooth. Selects all gears nice and happily. There's no issues there. Uh, if I walk around and start it, if we jump on in. helps out a little bit if you got any questions let me know um i mean it's i really feel like its value is probably more so in tassie because it's obviously registered and you can jump in and you can drive it straight away rather than shipping it all over the country but then again strange things have happened um it's got four brand new shocks in it um which makes it handle a little bit nicer um and it's a it's a pretty honest bus so uh thanks for watching